Well, does Ants IPO signal for other startups? Because in this space, this is the one that we've been waiting for for years now. So it, does it sort of open the floodgates in a way? Well, Jack Ma's timing is usually spot on. So what he's telling other companies right now is that the market is uh, where liquid is readily available right now and the economy has its own timeline. So right now is probably the time to strike when the iron is hot because down the road there are certain uncertainties um, coming from uh, either the virus or geopolitical tensions and we don't know how that will affect the markets down the timeline. Um, also, if you look at what's happening already in the market, it seems that people are already making preparations. There is a flood of secondary IPOs of Chinese companies, tech companies, Companies that are listed in the U.S. that are eyeing Hong Kong right now. And we're hearing chatter about uh, other uh, Chinese tech companies that are planning to come to market as well. Given everything that's in the pipeline, is there enough liquidity to support all of these deals? Uh, that's a really good question. Um, according to UBS's estimate, there is at least 42 companies that are traded in the U.S., uh, Chinese firms traded in the U.S. that are qualified to list in Hong Kong in the next 12 months. And they could raise an estimate of $27 billion only if they only float 5%. And that's on top of the $36 billion of share sales this year already in Hong Kong. Now, Ant's IPO is almost certain to push that past $45 billion. So, um, you know, that is a lot of demand, and usually, given how how mega um, Alibaba and Jack Ma's share sales are, they're kind of like the Hollywood, summer, summer Hollywood blockbuster that steamrolls all the smaller films. So I think it is something that other companies need to take into account, even while they're trying to catch that window of opportunity.